Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are all of the books that I will hopefully be reading in October. I have a lot of fun reading plans for October, so let's get into it. First, I'd love to mention a readathon that I'm going to be co-hosting. We are doing the Novellathon yet again for the Halloweeny season. <laughs> so me and Tiffany from Tiff Talks Pages, Sam from Books with Samantha, and Rachel from Rachel Reads and Sings, all four of us um, multiple times a year put on the Novellathon, which is a week-long readathon all about reading novellas. And we have like a theme kind of like every time we do the Novellathon. So this time is like Halloweeny time obviously but you can read whatever you want we primarily read novellas because it's the novellathon but again you can join do whatever you want there are no rules <laughs> this readathon takes place from october 14th through the 20th and we're going to be having two live shows we're going to have reading sprints on tiffany's channel on the 18th at 5 p.m pst and then we're going to be having like a live show wrap up on the 20th at 2 p.m pst on samantha's channel and i'll quickly go over a few things really fast our group book is boothang by rilsley adams i've only read i think one book by this author so i can't wait to read another one and then we have some prompts you can pick any of these prompts you don't have to read any books with these prompts if you don't want to um and then you can put the prompts on a bingo board that we have too all the graphics are on tiffany's instagram by the way if you are interested in using them for your instagram so prompts in this one we have cozy small town paranormal disability rep monster romance a bipoc author um lgbtq plus rep orange on the cover read with a fall drink and Halloween in the title. We hope that y'all join us. We are so excited. We always love the Novellathon and I hope that y'all do too. Melissa from Book Bar asked me and Tiffany from the Beam Me Up Book Club to join the um, Between the Covers Book Club to read a book together in October. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We are going to be reading Ursa Dax's like new book, which is called um, A Mary to the Alien Cowboy. She just started writing this series. I'm super excited. Tiffany and I are jazzing to read this one. It looks so good. We both love Ursa Dax's books. So we're very excited for this one. So thank you so much, Melissa, for asking us to be a part of this. Now for our Be Me Up Book Club pick, Tiffany and I were a little bit late in scheduling our September live. So it's bleeding into October. So um, we're still gonna be reading The Orc and the Innkeeper. So that was our our September book club pick but it's bleeding into October because our live show is at the beginning of October I think like October 11th or something like that I will put it in the description once I figure it out because I don't know off the top of my head right now this one looks really cute a romance between an orchid and an innkeeper looks really cozy we're both really excited for it we both been like haven't read it yet because we wanted to like wait till the live show but we never scheduled our live show so finally we did so we have a date we have a date for it so next i always want to pick up a book with disability representation so this time i have a scandal by any other name by kimberly bell this is book number two in tale of two sisters series so i also have book number one on my tbr because i do want to read them in order and my library had both of them i don't know what the disability rep is it doesn't say it in the description but it looks like it's a second chance romance with like a rakish duke or something sounds fun but yeah i don't know what the disability rep is in that but it was on my i make shelves you have like tags and shelves you can make on your libby and this was in the disability tag so i was like okay i must have figured out it did have disability rep i put it in that tag but i don't know what it is <laughs> next for a book from my kindle library i also have it in physical copy um this is wed to the basilisk by layla fay um so she sent me an art copy of this book i'm on her arc team so yeah i wanted to get one of my arcs off the list even though this came out a very long time ago <laughs> not a very long time ago probably a few months ago or a year ago at the most i'm gonna be reading the arc so i'll either read it as an arc on my phone or read the physical copy because i do have the physical copy so this kind of would knock down two of my prompts read a book off your physical tbr and a book from your kindle library but i'm not doubling up i don't double up um, but yeah, this is a series all about like marriage of conveniences where human women get matched up with alien creatures for like the be best genetic match possible. So I have not read this one yet. And there's a few that she sent me that I have not read yet that I want to read. So this one is the next one on the docket. I don't know anything about this except he's a basilisk. So I've never read a basilisk creature. Next, I have a physical TBR. So I actually have two books that I'm going to like put on the docket for me um, and I can see what I wanna read. So October is kind of like paranormal time, right? Paranormal romance books. So I have two that I can choose from. I have Jacob by Jacqueline Frank. I think this is a vampire 
romance of some sort. All I know is that Brie from In Love and Words, um, when she was making booktube videos, she's a dear friend of mine, um, she would hype up this book. This is one of the books that got her into romance. So I got this so long ago and I think I'm finally gonna read it. And then I also found this one recently by Teresa Medrios. This is The Vampire Who Loved Me. And all I know has something to do with a vampire, but I don't know if it's also historical. So we're gonna have to see. Um, but yeah, both of these would be on my TBR for the month because I would love to read something with vampires in it. Next, I have a historical romance I'd love to pick up. And I am also part of the Wallflowers Read Along where each month we are reading a book from the Wallflower series by Lisa Klippis. And these are all rereads for me. I love these books so much. This is hosted by myself, B from a Mom and Easter Romance, um, Christy from Christy Reads A Lot, um, Tiff from Tiff Talks Pages and Rachel from Rachel Reads and Sings. Every single month we read a Wallflower book and then we have a live show discussion. Last month was my channel and next month is Devil in Winter. I believe this one's on Christy's channel and like I just found the step back version recently. I think I have like all the step by versions now and I'm so happy. Um, this is one of my favorites, a fan favorite for sure. I don't wanna spoil this one. I feel like you have to read the series in order by the way. So stay tuned for our Wallflower read along live show. We love this book so much. <laughs> Next, I found this book on my Libby and it looked actually really cute because it has werewolf in the title and it has like baking stuff on the cover. I was like, okay, werewolf, October, yes. This is The Art of Avoiding Your Werewolf by Lola Glass. This is available off of Kindle Limited, but my Libby had the audiobook. So that's why this is for the prompt Libby book. <laughs> I almost hooked up with a werewolf, but before we got to third base, he dragged me off to jail. That's the that's the tagline. <laughs> Apparently he's the leader of the pack in town. The fact that I'm an illegal blood wolf, vampire slash werewolf hybrid doesn't help my case. And he doesn't appreciate me accidentally biting him when we were kissing either. Luckily or unluckily, he seems to think that I'm his true mate, which means he won't let anyone hurt me, but he also won't let me go. Between his possessiveness, my need to be near him and the vampire clan hunting me, one thing's become clear. I won't be able to avoid my werewolf forever. Sounds really fun. It's on the shorter side. It's about, I think like six hours long. And I think the third book in the series comes out in October at some point. So I could like marathon. All of them if I wanted to. Next I have an author backlist. So I picked The Dragon's Bride by Katie Robert. <laughs> I still haven't read this book yet. I know it's like a quintessential monster romance that I haven't read yet. I think it's a marriage of convenience romance where he's like a dragon creature and all I know is that he has two things down there. <laughs> so that's all I know. I'm gonna have a grand old time with this. The audiobook's gonna come in on Libby in October for me. For a series to continue I have The Veil of Violence by Marilyn Marks. This is the second book in the Fae of the Roaring Age series. I'm actually currently reading book number one and I'm in love with it. Like I am, in, I'm only 30% in and I'm obsessed. Bee from Mom and Easter Romance got me onto this book. She absolutely loves it. If you love, okay, I'm gonna say if you love Akatar and then you also love the 20s, like the era of the 20s, uh, read this because it's kind of like a, a meshing <laughs> of them. It starts out a little slow for me, but I really love how atmospheric it is because it does take place in the 20s. So it's so stinking cool. So the next book in the series continues, I'm assuming the same couple because it has the couple on the cover. So I think it's a continuation of them, but I am in love with this. <laughs> like it's so cool and interesting. Like Faye mixed with the 20s, like it's so cool. So I'm definitely putting a book number two on my TBR for next month. It's already in my library. I'm going to pick it up immediately when I finish book number one any day now. Next, I have a book from an unknown author and like I've never heard of the book before. So I found this really cute like fall romance on my Libby. This is Fall Into You by Caroline Frank. I've never heard of this author. I've never heard of this book before. I have heard of this cover artist. I'm obsessed with cover artists. I love her. Um, She does Chloe Lisa's new covers that are absolutely fantastic. So I recognize her art anywhere. Um, but yeah, this is the first book in the Seasons of Love series. And this is a brother's best friend rom-com that takes place in the fall, say less. Then I have a hyped book. I have a really hard time reading hyped books. So <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Sometimes I don't read them. Sometimes I do. I'm not going to give myself a hard time if I don't. This is Night Shift by Annie Crown. I've heard a lot of people read this book. I feel like I've heard people say good things, but also not good things about this one. So I hope I really like this one. Um, I think it is a college romance with a bookworm and a basketball player. I love like bookish romances. So I hope this works out, but I also think this might be closed door if I'm not mistaken, which is fine. If I know going in it's closed door, totally fine. But if like 
the thing is a lot of closed door romances they have like that tension and stuff and then it falls flat and i'm like wait <laughs> i wanted the i wanted at least just a little something you know i hate it when they tease you and then you get like the door slammed in your face <laughs> then i have a 2024 new release my audiobook hold for not another love song by julie soto comes in in october and i am ecstatic i'm so excited i loved book number one so much it was one of my favorite books of the year i need to read number two it looks so stinking good i think it's between two musicians so that's all i know i haven't i haven't read the summary i don't know anything else because i want to go in blind and the last prompt that i have is to read a monster slash alien romance so for this one i have stitches by violet taylor i saw this one actually on tiktok and um it looks so good like look at this cover it is so stinking cute this is a dark monster romance reimagining of a halloween classic so this is a reimagining of the nightmare before christmas so jack and sally it just it looks so good the only gripe is like it's not on kindle unlimited but i do have a few like digital credits i can use on it to make it like cheaper but still it's not on ku i wish it was um but that's okay but it looks really good it has really good ratings and i am so excited because i love the nightmare before christmas like i'm obsessed with it anyways there you have it those are all the books that i will hopefully be reading in october let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to and if you don't feel like commenting anything else you can leave me a jack-o-lantern emoji in the comment section down below but anyways thank you all so so much for watching i will see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all